Good morning. We're here in Allen Road and we're here to look at number 38, which is this three bedroom semi-detached house built by the original owners in 1957. Um, Allen Road is uh, part of the established and uh, rejuvenated east side of Hayward Teeth. Allen Road comes off America Lane, so at the top of this part of the cul-de-sac, uh, you're on America Lane. Turn right just there, you've got the parade of shops just down on the right. Turn left, you can walk up to the town and up to Warden Park Primary School. Uh, or if you go to the bottom of uh, Allen Road, You've got the uh, Handry Park Football Stadium, that's Hayward Heath Football Club, and there's an alleyway just down at the bottom there that cuts up into Boston Road, giving you a shortcut um, up to the shops. And this is Jubilee Close, which is another cul-de-sac. So, come and have a look. Um, lovely story, this one. Like I say, it was built by the original owners who worked for Hilton's, um, who were pretty much built all of Hayward Heath during the, uh, well, anything from the 30s onwards, really. Uh, but they've been here ever since 1957. Sadly, it's now being sold uh, by the executors and the probate is granted so we are ready to sell so come have a look around you've got a fabulous plot in fact I'll show you the plot first as you can see you've got a long driveway which leads up to this carport I'll take you down the garden because it's rather gorgeous it's nice to have sunshine for once big shed there I mean that could have been a garage I'm sure you could build a garage there if you wanted to We've actually just sold the adjoining uh, semi on sim similar circumstances, and that's got a garage down the garden there, so I'm sure you could have done much the same. But this back garden, it's 97 feet by 27 feet. Uh, we were backing onto a little bit of ground, which I think is part of a nature reserve, and then beyond that, you've got the uh, cemetery beyond. Um, but this is all quite lovely, so it's a bit of a wildlife corridor down here. And then when you come round the back, I just want to point out to you, there's a couple of houses, the two semis further down, one of them is currently having a major, uh, or had some major work done, but that, they've both been extended on the ground floor and had loft conversions. So this one is absolutely crying out for that. And I mean, it's not a big house as it is, but you're in a location now where you are literally just around the corner from several schools, primary schools, and uh, Oak Hall Community College is close by. So it's a great place to have a family. If you wanted to extend this and stay here forever, it works pretty well. Um, come back in the front door. The railway station, according to Google Maps, is exactly one mile from where I'm standing. So come and have a look. Now, what is quite lovely, and it's lot, some people may think, oh, I'm going to redo all the electrics, but these are the original Bakelite uh, light switches and if you can try and keep them you know it, they probably you know needs upgrading from an electrical point of view but those old baker light switches are worth a few pounds so don't let some electrician rip them out um kitchen at the back but i'm going to take you through this way so we've got an open plan sort of lounge stroke dining room gas fire there with a back boiler and all double glazed windows at the front so it's been really well cared for it's absolutely spotlessly clean as well. Yes, it needs updating, but it is absolutely immaculate. And that's got the doors back out to the garden. Just showing the greenhouses in the way because you've got a nice view down the garden. But a lovely leafy outlook. So that's the uh, pretty much most of the ground floor with the kitchen. I think some people will probably knock the kitchen into the dining room or like next door, extend on the back. And obviously we've got the side door back out to the carport, front and back. And then upstairs, you've got two double bedrooms and a single. And then the owners were very elderly. They had the uh, bathroom replaced with this mobility wet room. This costs an absolute fortune if you need this. But great, if you want to make, just keep it as a shower room, that's absolutely ideal, but it's big enough to put a bath in. Back bedroom, I'd say is probably the bigger of the two. So a nice size room here. Again, lovely outlook. Plenty of water, sorry, I've walked past those a bit fast. Plenty of wardrobes built in there. And again, the old switch is upstairs as well. Front bedroom. Again, nice size double. That's the area in cupboard with a hot water tank and more storage cupboards. And then the front bedroom. Little box room, as we call them, with the cupboard over the stairs. And again, this one's overlooking front of the property there so that pretty much sums it up so it's a three bedroom semi built in the late 1950s by the owners it's for sale with vacant possession and Mansell McTaggart and Hayward Heath are the agents if you are interested please contact them or follow us on YouTube because all these videos are live on YouTube before they're on things like right move thanks very much for watching